Okay, here is your board in action for the month of April. We had several recognitions at the board meeting that included the following. We recognize Miss Donna Inslee. Uh, she is our spelling bee coordinator and handles that for us flawlessly every year, and we definitely appreciate all that she does. We recognized our top two spelling bee winners for the district, and they went on and represented us well at the regional level, and that was Grayson Thomas from Gilbert. And then second place was our Sirius Walsh from Rossville Middle School. We recognize Governor's Honor student Jeremiah Hart, first student in history at Lafayette High School to go to uh, Statesboro in the area of math this summer, so we're excited for Jeremiah. We looked at our star students and their, their chosen teachers. From Lafayette High School, we had Joey Hicks. He chose Dr. Regina Hardinger. And then Rison Haig chose Suzanne Smith at Ridgeland High School, so we were happy to recognize them. We talked to our VEX Robotics team from Chattanooga Valley Middle and from Ridgeland High School, and we celebrated Ridgeland High School's team as they are going to world the World Championship in Dallas, Texas next weekend. So we're hoping that they do as well as they've done the last two years. We also had a plethora of 4-H district project winners that were announced and celebrated, along with their VEX, RC, and IQ teams. They call them dog bites and their accolades for this year. So it was a great time of recognizing our students and our teachers and the sponsors that helped serve in those roles. The board had several action items that they included that evening, and that would have been the financial report, as well as the new price structure for our property, auto, general liability, and other insurance. And that uh, was something they approved uh, typically in the month of April. Consent action items included minutes from previous meetings, the instructional supply and the custodial supply bids for next school year, several school nutrition annual bids, which this is the time of year we get into a lot of annual bids coming up. And then we had a clinical agreement with, the, uh, with Erlanger Hospital for some of our students at Ridgeland High School. Uh, we discussed our strategic plan. Uh, we detailed uh, some of the feedback that we received during our town hall meetings, which we had at Ridgeland and Lafayette High Schools. Uh, the feedback will be incorporated into the plan if applicable. There was a lot of feedback that didn't have anything to do with strategic planning, but we read all that and responded to that as well. Uh, all the documents are posted on the system website if you want to go look at those and review them. And then the next step in that process is for the final review by the board and then the adoption by vote so that we can implement that going into July the 1st of next school year. We also highlighted the Strategic Waiver School System or SWISS application process. We're in the middle of that. That started in, we received that information in February. Uh, the draft document's been posted on the website as well, so you can review that. Uh, next step is we, we're waiting to hear back uh, from the Georgia Department of Education and their feedback. Once we get that feedback, we'll incorporate that into the plan, make any necessary revisions. We'll present that again to the board for their approval in May, resubmit to the state. Then it goes on to the state board for their meeting in June and hopefully approval, and then we'll implement that July 1 as well. And so lots going on. Uh, during the course of the month of April, uh, and we're excited about what's going to be happening as we go forward next month. So this represents your board in action for the month of April 2024. Hope you have a great weekend.